Hello, let's try to understand how to subtract fractions. Have you seen my video on add fractions? If not, look into that video before this. There I have explained in lot more details. Here I will give you some steps, right? Because both are same process, right? So first thing, what do you what you should do before adding subtraction or subtracting fractions adding or subtracting fractions first and foremost is that we should have common denominator so this is what you should look for so first thing is we should look for common denominator right so we say common denominator What do you understand by common denominator? Look here, 7, 7, so they have same denominator, right? 3 and 6, they are not same. 4 and 3 is also not same, right? So the these denominators should be same. Because you are adding fractions, they should be, like these are 7th part, right? These are 3rd part, 6th part, but they should be equal parts when you add, right? So to make equal parts, right, the whole has to be divided into equal parts before we do any addition or subtraction, okay. Now how to do common denominator? So how to do common denominator? So you have to find their common multiple, right, and lower it is better, it is for us. So you have to look for lowest possible. common denominator, right? So you have to look for lowest possible multiple. What does that mean? That means, see, they are different, 3 and 6. So what are the multiples of 3? Multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9. And here the multiples of 6 are 6 and 9. So let me show you that. So here, for example, the multiples are, let me write them here for you so that you understand what we are trying to do. So multiples are 3, 6 and 9. These are the multiples for 3. How about multiples of 6? Multiples of 6 are 6, 12 and like this, 18, right? Now, which is the lowest common multiple? So the lowest possible is 6. Do you see that? So that is what we should get. Right? So how will you get that lowest possible multiple? So you have to multiply by the same number. So you have to multiply numerator and denominator by same number okay so here for example what will you multiply 3 to get 6 so the number is 2 right 3 times 2 is 6 so we'll multiply this by 2 and also this by 2 do you understand if I do so I get same denominator which is 6 correct so let me do this for you here so we say this is equals to 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 3 is 6 and we already have 6 here so minus 1 over 6. Now since we have same denominator we can do our subtraction. How? 4 minus 1 so we get 3 over 6. Do you see that? So once we have our common denominator then we can do subtraction. Correct? So the next step is subtract. Correct? So next let me write like this as subtract right and then you can subtract and I will write simplify simplify means write it in lowest terms so 3 over 6 can be written as 1 over 2 right both you can divide by 3 and then you get 1 over 2 half 
Do you understand the process? This is simple for you, right? This you can straight away subtract because we already have a common denominator of 7, right? So it is 3 minus 2 as 1. So you get 1 over 7. How about like this? Here, to get the lowest common denominator, what we can do is we can cross multiply. You understand cross multiply? We can multiply that by 4 and these by 3. Do you understand? So that's what we will do. So if you multiply by 3, these two numbers, you get 3 times 3 as 9 and 3 times 4 as 12. And then take away 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 times 3 is 12. Do you see we get common denominator? Yes, we do. And now you can write this as 9 minus 4 is 5 over 12. Do you see that? That is your answer. So that's cross multiply. Correct? Cross multiply is a good technique. You could have done it here also. But then you get very big numbers. If you do that, you have to reduce this further. Okay? So avoid cross multiply most of the time. But if you have no other alternative, you can always do that. It is always an option. Okay? Now, so these are the ways you can subtract or add fractions. Correct? Can you tell me, this is a question for you, how will you do 2 minus 3 over 4? Well, think like this. Think 2 as 2 over 1. Do you understand? And then you have to get 4. So multiply both by 4, right? So you get this as 8 over 4 minus 3 over 4. Do you see? Which you can write as 8 minus 3 is 5. 5 over 4. Do you understand? That is how you can do. And 5 over 4 is an improper fraction. I could always write this as 1. 1 over 4. How did I do that? Look into my videos on improper fraction and mixed fractions to understand this step. Okay? But I hope you understand the first step, which is to make common denominator and then take away the numerators, right? So, I hope you understand how to subtract fractions. Try some questions on your own from the book. If there is any difficulty, you can write the comments and then we will simplify it further. Okay? Thank you. Enjoy fractions.